Hello, hello, good evening everyone, good evening and welcome. So, um, here we are guys once again, ready to continue working and basically tonight, ready to wrap up what has been a great experience, um, learning and sharing some of our English. So, for tonight, I think I have anticipated the activity for a little bit too long because you already know what, we, what we're going to be working on and it's going to be mainly um yeah the thing related to um to the reading thing or the reading practice that i have been advising you guys to do um someone in the group was asking me to share the reading that we were going to be developing tonight but i thought that was going to be it could be an advantage for some of you and it could be a big disadvantage for other people in the group so i decided not to share it and plus i at the beginning i told you that it was going to be a surprise reading for tonight now the way it's going to work it's relatively simple what we're going to be doing is that i will be of course as, as per usual sharing my screen with you and uh, as i do the countdown from three to zero you guys will start reading now i will be using my stopwatch and on my phone just so I can take the time, all right? So I will be as, um, you know, as fast as possible on taking the readings. We're going to do two different readings. So it's gonna be um, two different top-ups. In case you guys didn't know, top-ups, that's the way you, you use to say um, recargas in English. So yeah, it's two top-ups for tonight, $2 each. Um, if one person wins both, that's going to be the way it's going to work, okay? So, yeah. Hopefully, the thing is, you guys are going to have one chance, okay? And that's like the, the first thing, one chance. Now, after we are done, if you want to try it again, for example, you have your microphone off and I tell you how how much you, um, you did on the first go, you can try again. Another thing is that I would like it to be voluntary. Now, if you're not volunteering to go ahead and do the reading. Of course, I'm going to start um, call names. And uh, the thing is, once we have done a full round of classmates in the reading, um, you can challenge, you know, the first place. Okay, so we're going to take note on how much to do, each of you guys. And um, once you have, or we have finished the whole round, you can go ahead and challenge the first place. If you feel like you have it, if you feel yeah, like you can um, take the prize from them. So it's not like only one opportunity and you're dead. Uh, you have one chance, only one chance to go ahead and challenge the first place. So basically, that's it. You know, um, if we are going to simplify it, you're going to have two chances for the reading. The first one, which is going to be your official goal. And the second one, which will be the challenge if you want to go ahead and do it. Um, that will be more voluntary, okay? The challenge is not going to be like uh, a call-up. Apart from that, as I said, we're going to have two different readings. So for the second one, we'll, we're going to go with the same system. We're going to read all of us, and then we're going to have an opportunity to challenge. Um, so yeah, now, before we go ahead and work on all of that, I would like to know, we have been working on these classes for almost a month, basically a little bit longer than a month. And uh, I think it's time enough, you know, to get to know people. And uh, for the last class, I always um, ask you guys to do me a favor. And this is something that is not, um, you know, like an obligation. It's more something like if you want to do it, it's great. Uh, and the favor that I ask on the last class is that I would like to get some feedback from you. Okay, if you don't know what feedback is, it's what we do at the end of a process when we um, express our ideas about the development of the process itself and how the person in charge or how some of the processes were developed. So I would like to hear on the mostly and more importantly, the bad aspects of me as a teacher. If I have made mistakes, if I have done things that were not appropriate to you, I would like to hear about that. Uh, if you have good comments to add it's okay it's not like you know um i'm only here to get nailed it but uh yeah if you can um for example 
think about something that will help me improve as a teacher as I consider myself myself that I'm still like a young teacher and someone who can still grow um I will really really appreciate it because I always try to mature and try to become better with the lessons and with the classes um I have learned a few things about you and about the ways in which different groups or different um classes like things so I would like to hear your comments if you have good comments it's okay go ahead add them but if you had you know those um positive critic critic uh, critics that you can add I will totally appreciate it as well so um I will give you guys the opportunity now to share your ideas about what has been you know the last class um so if anyone would like to to share your um perception Okay, that's sad. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Alexa. Well, actually, this is not gonna be like your mistakes or something like that. I mean, I just want to say thank you because I really appreciate it and I really learned because I have one problem with the with my classroom. Because uh, the whole teacher that I have in my classes for English uh, didn't match with me, so I couldn't learn very well. But with you, it it only be one month, and yeah, I really learned about the topic that you explained. So keep going. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um. You know, actually, I don't want to take too much time out of, you know, the class for tonight because we have an activity to develop. But actually, that's one of the things that I, uh, got me into teaching. I was never really a fond of teaching. I never liked it. Um, many of my teachers at the university said that I had what it takes, you know, to, to become a teacher. I never believed it. I was like, ah, I'm not sure. I don't like it. I don't want it. Um, but after I had my opportunity to teach in the U.S., I came back to El Salvador and I was like remembering the experience and also some words that I got from my main teacher uh, in the class that I was teaching there. And she used to say that teaching has to be personalized. Like you have to try and find the spots where you can relate to your students. And uh, that is going to make the class feel more welcoming and also more at, at ease. Like the people in the class are going to feel at ease. Um, so that's something that I try to do and try to apply. Because I feel like um, having those connection or, you know, those, those matching points is where a teacher lacks most of the time. So I decided to become a teacher to break the wheel, as they say in Naruto. Si, se acuerdan si vieron Naruto, verdad? Ahí está, rompan la, la rueda. I'm don't, I don't want to become part of the wheel. I want to break the wheel. So, yeah, that's basically part of what, um, as I said, got me into teaching. And I am glad that is recognize here. So thank you. Okay, alguien más a quien le gustaría agregar algún comentario, lo que les estoy pidiendo básicamente es eso, o sea, agregar algún comentario, alguna crítica constructiva principalmente, si tienen algo, ¿verdad? Que en algún momento tal vez no fue de su agrado, algo que tal vez pudo haber sido mejor en el desarrollo de las clases, que me pueda ayudar a mí a mi crecimiento personal, o por otro lado, pues también, ¿verdad? Si tienen algún comentario Positivo, pues siempre se agradece. No es que, que no, pero me gustaría saber, ¿verdad? Si hay alguna situación, yo no lo voy a tomar a mal. Créanme, si se los pido, como les dije, es más como un favor, es más como algo que a mí me interesa saber, porque de eso yo puedo um, obtener, ¿verdad? Una perspectiva quizá de cómo me, me desarrollé en el curso con ustedes. Entonces, eh, ya Alex dio su punto de vista. No sé si alguien más tiene o tendría algo que agregar antes que pasemos a la actividad principal de hoy. Bueno, parece que no entonces. Muy bien. Um, pues básicamente eso era la pregunta de hoy. Sí, que, o sea, simplemente quería, ¿verdad?, recibir eh, sus comentarios. Si no hay, pues eh, es entendible. Ahora bien, vamos a la actividad eh, de lectura que les he estado anunciando desde hace, pues ya rato, desde el principio casi del curso. 
um, vamos a estar desarrollando lo que será esta actividad ¿sí? en la que tendremos dos diferentes lecturas. El objetivo principal es la práctica ¿verdad? De, de la lectura en inglés y el otro objetivo pues, es el obtener una recarga para ustedes esta noche. Así que eh, tenemos dos temas. The first one will be Olymp Olympic Game Symbols y luego tenemos Polar Bears. Um, uy, sorry. Here will be a plural. There we go. So, uh, that is basically it. That is what we're going to be reading. I will do a, um, like a proofreading right now. Sí, voy a hacer una lectura de, de prueba nada más. Luego, bueno, y de hecho me voy a tomar el tiempo yo también, a ver cómo ando, a ver si me gano la recarga yo. Luego tendrán ya la oportunidad ustedes. Eh, espero, de verdad, espero que esta vez no se me vayan a quedar como el otro día que les di la oportunidad de trabajar en grupos y se quedaron callados. Espero que esta noche sí se motiven a participar porque pues el objetivo no es necesariamente solo por la recarga, sino también por la práctica, ¿verdad? Que vamos a tener y pues hasta cierto punto, que ¿quién sabe? La diversión incluso que puede haber. Entonces, eh, será de forma voluntaria. Si nadie es voluntario a participar, en ese caso, pues ahí sí, ¿verdad? Voy a empezar a llamarlos, pero pues sería mejor si funciona de manera voluntaria. Así que, right now, what I'm going to do is that I will do a proofing. As you can see here, my um, timer is on zeros. So I will start it as soon as I count down to zero. So, um, three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that appear on the Olympic flag, colored yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the Americas, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised uh, in the whole city. And, the, and then flown to the next one where it's kept until the next games. The Olympic torch is a major part of the ancient games, was brought back in 1928 and is carried with great fanfare and publicity to the host city where it lights the burning flame of the games. It is kept burning until the close of the games. The torch symbolizes purity, the drive for, for, for perfection and the struggle for victory. Okay, so in my case, I only did 49 seconds, so that's the time to read. Um, 49 segundos para esta lectura, it's not that bad. Uh, pero bueno, una cosa que sí les, no se me había olvidado comentarles es que también se van a tomar en cuenta algunos de los errores, más que todo en pronunciación, no en pace. O sea, si ustedes se traban, por ejemplo, en algo, eso no se va a contar como error, sino en pronunciación. ¿Eso por qué? Porque si en algún momento... Eh, digamos que llegan a empatar, ¿verdad? Por el primer lugar y tienen el mismo tiempo, eh, va a ser complicado y eso básicamente va a ser lo que nos va a ayudar a decidir quién se queda con el premio, ¿sí? Así que, pues lo importante es eso, que también vamos a tener un premio esta noche. Eh, entonces, pues sí, ¿verdad? Será, será más interesante si, lo, si también tomamos en cuenta los errores. Entonces, en mi caso, yo cometí dos errores, eh, así que digamos que a esto le podría agregar medio segundo por cada uno, serían 50 segundos con 73 uh, milésimas. Eso lo voy a enviar uh, al chat y de esa forma vamos a estar tomando el control, ¿verdad? Así que serían 50... punto 73. Ok, aquí vamos a agregarlo de esta forma. Muy bien. So, that's my time. Ahora, vamos con la segunda lectura para que de una vez ya ustedes tengan la idea, sonó como a misa eso decir la segunda lectura, pero bueno. Eh, para que de una vez tengamos la idea de qué trata la segunda, sí, y esta iría de la siguiente forma. So, three, two, one, go. Polar bears. In the spring 2008, the polar bear was placed on the endangered species list. According to the USA's Endangered Species Act, an endangered species is an animal a plant or any kind or any other kind of wildlife that is likely to face extinction in its natural habitat. Polar bears had already been categorized as a threatened species, which the ESA defines as one that is likely to become endangered in the foreseeable future. The polar bear is the first animal that has been classified as endangered due primarily to global warming. Global warming is a form of climate change caused by increased levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that become trapped in the atmosphere. Okay, very good. 
So for this one, I only made one mistake uh, and I made a time of 48, um, 48.89. So I will be showing you guys this as well, just so that you have the record of the time that you're making. Um, so yeah, for the second reading, I will go ahead and also send my record and it will be, um, so it is zero forty eight eighty nine. All right, so there we have it. Um, all right. Muy bien, entonces, ahora vamos a ir ya en serio con la primera. Lo vamos a ver así en, en pantalla completa, ¿verdad? Para que tengamos la oportunidad de apreciarlo, eh, pues, en completo, valga la redundancia. Pero, a ver, ¿quién le gustaría ser, ¿a quién le gustaría ser el primero en participar? ¿Quién quiere iniciar esta noche con esta lectura? Muy bien. Alexa, so, uh, it will be at the count of three, ¿ok? So, open your mic. There we go. Three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that appear on the Olympic flag, color yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the Americas, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised in the host city and then flowed to the next one where it kept on to the next game. The Olympic torch, a major part of the Asian Games, was brought back in 1928, and it carried with great pampers and delivered it to the hot city, where it liked the burning flames of the game. It kept burning onto the cold of the games, the torch symbolized purity, the drive for perfection, and the struggle for victory. Very good. You did very, very good. So, Alexa, your time will be um, 47.42. So I didn't catch any mistakes there. So your time will be kept and it will be Alexa um, 4742. Very nice, great job, great, great job. All right, so that's the time to beat people. So who would like to be next? A quien le gustaría ser el siguiente? Ya les dije, todos vamos a tener la oportunidad, a todos los voy a llamar, así que um, preparémonos. Saben que si pasan primero, tienen más chance para después eh, seguir practicando. Muy bien, Ruth, uh, your countdown will be on the count of three. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Olympic gaming, symbols. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that appear on the Olympics flag colored yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the Americas, Australia, Asia, and Hero. The flag is, a, is raised in the host city and then flown to the next one where it is kept until the next games. The Olympic torch, a major part of Asian games, games was brought back in 1948 and is carried with great fanfare and publicity to the host city where it light the burning flame of the games. It is kept burning until the close of the games. The torch symbolizes purity, the drive for perfections and the struggle for victory. All right. You did one minute and nine seconds. All right. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, yes, one minute and nine seconds. All right. So, I'm going to send your time right now. It will be Ruth. One. Um, let me see. There we go. Nine seconds and 58 milliseconds. All right, so there we have it. Great, very good. That's a good time. Um, okay, so who would like to be next? Who would like to try it uh, now? Okay. Remember, the most important part is, you know, that we're practicing, not necessarily the price, but the fact that we have to practice. So who would like to try it next in a voluntary way? Me? 
All right, Sarah, great. So you may start on the count of, oh, Luis Eduardo will be the next then. Um, so Sarah, so three, two, one, go. The Lippy games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that appear on the Olympic flag, colored yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the Americas, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised into the host city and the fl then flown to the next one where it is kept until the next games. The Olympic torch, a major part of the Asian games, was brought back in 1928 and is carried with great fanfare and publicity to the host city where it lights the burning flame of the games. It is kept burning until the close of the games. The torch symbolizes purity, the drive for perfection, and the struggle for victory. Very good. Very, very nice. So you did, uh, a ver, santo Dios. There we go. Fifth, I mean, 60, ah, 56 seconds with 20 milliseconds. So 56 seconds will be your time. Let's see. It's Sarah with uh, 56 seconds with 20. Already. Very nice. Uh, Luis Eduardo, it is your time to shine. Let's see. Uh, you start on the count of three. Three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The fire ram that appear on the Olympic flag, colored yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continent of Africa, the America, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised in the whole city and then flow to the next one where is keep until the next game. The Olympic torch, a major part of the ancient game, was brown black in 1928 and is carried with great fanfare and publicity to the host city where it's like the burning flame of the game. It is keep burning until the close of the game. The torch symbols put it the dry for perfection and the stronger for victory. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. So we did one minute and 16 seconds. All right. So one minute and 16 seconds. I'm going to send it now just to keep the record. Um, Luis will be 1 and 16. 16.48. So there we have it. Great. Uh, good, good, good. Who would like to be the next one on trying it? We have already had uh, um, Alexa, Ruth, um, Sarah, and Luis. Who would like to be the next one? Me. All right. Mayra. Okay. Very good. So you start um, on the count of three. Three, two, one, go. Okay, the Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that appear on the Olympic flag, color yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the Americans, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised in the hot city and flown to the next one where it is kept until the next games. The Olympic torch, a major part of the ancient games, was brought back in 1928 and is carried with great fanfare and publicity to the host city where it lights the burning flame of the games. It is kept burning until the close of the games. The torch symbol, the torch symbolizes purity, the drive for perfection, and the struggle for victory. All right. Good, good, good. So we did okay. one minute and two seconds. Okay. One minute and two seconds. 
He was great, though. He was very, very nice. Very well pronounced as well. So, Maida, we have uh, one minute. 02.34. Very good. Uh, moving on. We are going to hear now from who? Who would like to be the next one on trying this reading? Jorge. Very nice. I was actually thinking that you will be the, the next one. Okay, Jorge. So you have to start on the count of three. And we go on three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many import symbols that most people resonate the five right that appear on the Olympic flag. Colored yellow, green, blue, black, and red were introduced in 19. 14 they represent the five continent of Africa, the America, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is written in the whole city and the flow to the next one there is keep until the next game. The Olympic torch, a major part of the ancient game, was brought back in 1928 and is carried with great farfar and the publicity to the host city, what is the light to the burn flag of the game. It is keep burning until the close of the game. The torch symbolizes put it, the drive for the perfection, and the stroke for the victory. Good, very nice. You did one minute and six seconds. One minute and six seconds. So, great, very nice. Thank you very much, Jorge. You had a very good pace in, in some periods. So Jorge, we'll go with one, zero six, zero seven. Alrighty, thank you, thank you. Who would like to be the next one then? Uh, remember the time we were trying to challenge at this point is um, 47 seconds. So let's see, who would like to Me? try? Okay, go ahead. Let me see okay. where I have you at. All right. So you start at the count of three. Three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that, that most people recognize. The five right wings that, that appear on the Olympic, Olympic flag, color yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of, Amer of Africa, the America, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is recited in the host city and the flow to the next one, <clears throat> where is it keep until the next game. The Olympic torch, a major part of the Asian Games, was brought back in 1928, and is occurred with great fanfares and publicity publicity to the host city where in the light, the burning flag flame of the game. It is keep burning until the close of the game. The torch symbolizes put it, the drive for perfection and the struggle for victory. Nice, 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 nice. So we did 111, all right? So let me see, a ver si lo veo aquí. There we go. Uh, no seconds. Right, there we go. One eleven. See, one minute and eleven seconds. Um, so it will be Laura with uh one minute and eleven seconds. Point eighty eight. Iba a decir a ratitos que ninguno salía con con uh, milisegundos arriba de sesenta, pero aquí pasó el primero ya. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Okay, Maria Dolores, you can have your chance. You can start on the count of three. Three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people record. The five rights that appear on the Olympic flag, color yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in the 1914. They represent the free con continent of Africa, the Americas, Austria, Asia, and Euro Europe. The flag is raised in the whole city and then flowed 
to the next one where is in keep until the next game. The Olympic torch, a major part of the ancient game, was brought back in 1928 and, and is carried with great, great fire fine and published usually <laughs> of the old city where it's like the burning flame of the game. Um, is a keep. No veo. It's a keep burning until the close of the game. The torch sim symbolizes purity that drive for perfection on the strong for victory. All right. So with the issues that we had. Sadly, we got to 119. Sí, con el hecho de que no podíamos ver ahí por un ratito, llegamos hasta 1.19. Yeah, but uh, thank you. Thank you very much. It was very good, actually. Um, so we have Maria with um, 119. One minute, 19 and 06. Very good. Uh, let's see, who would like to try it again? Or who would like, sorry, who would like to try it next? Yeah, that's the thing. Who would like to try it next, guys? Who would like to be the next one to challenge it? All right, Osmin. So, Osmin, you start on the count of three. Three, two, one, go. In the Olympic game, how many important symbols the most people recognize? The five varieties that appear on the Olympic flag, color is yellow, green, blue, black, and red. Were introduced in the 1914. They represent the five countries of America, the Americas, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flower is raised, the hot theory, and the, then flow to the next one where it is kept until the next game. The Olympic torch, a major part of the ancient game, was brought back in 1928. In, it's carried with great from far and the policy to the whole city where it is like, it's like the boring flame of the game. It is keep boring until to the close game. The torch symbolizes, symbolizes purity, purity, the drive to perfection and stroke for victory. Ooh, you were close, close to one minute. That was a 40, a 49 second mark. So 49 seconds, there we have it. 49 seconds, okay. 16. All right, but that was pretty quick. Sí, lástima que en un par de palabras ahí nos trabamos, nos quedamos repitiéndolas un par de veces, pero ibas muy, muy bien. All right, so it will be Osmin with um, 59. 59.16. 59.16, great, very good. Now, who would like to be next? Who would like to be the next one on challenging uh, this 47 second time. Me, teacher. Okay, Mariela. Uh, let's see. You may start on the count of three. So it would be three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that appear on the Olympic flag, color, yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the Americas, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised in the host city and the flow to the next one where it is kept until the next game. The Olympic torch, a major part of the ancient games, was brought back in 1928 and is carried with great fanfare and publicity to the host city wherein lights burning flame to of the games. It is kept burning until the close of the games. The torch symbolizes purity, the drive for perfection, and the struggle for victory. Ooh, that was close. That was very, very close. Uh, you did a time of 48 seconds. So 48 <laughs> seconds, 57. That was very close and very, very good as well. So great. Mariela will score. Uh, let's see. 48. Um, sorry, no, it's 0, 48, 57. So that was very good. Very, very nice. 
All right. Uh, let's see. The next person who would like to challenge it, who would be? Who would it be? Maybe we still have people like Melissa, Lisbeth, um, Wendy, and uh, yeah, I think you guys are the only ones missing. So Melissa, Lisbeth, or Wendy. Y después de eso, okay, después de eso, después de, de esas últimas tres participaciones, tenemos ya el chance, verdad, de poder tener una segunda oportunidad. Así que, Melissa, Lisbeth, o Wendy. Melissa parece que sí, estaba dispuesta. Así que, Melissa, if you're ready, your count starts now. Three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games has many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that appear of the Olympic flag, color yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in the 1914. Uh, they represent the five continents of Africa, the Americas, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised in the host city and then flow the to the next one where it is keep until the next game. The Olympic torch, a major part of the ancient games was brought back in the 1928 uh, and is carried with the great, great fanfire and publicity to the whole city where it light the burning flame of the games it is keep burning until the close of the king the torch symbols uh, purity the the drive for perfection and the stronger for the victory okay very nice you did great you did a time of 1 15 okay so 1 15 uh we will take note of this um so here we have it melissa comes home with one minute 15 seconds and 27 already. So uh, how about Lisbeth? Let's see Lisbeth. Uh, your time starts on three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that the most people recognize. The five rings that appear on the Olympic flag, color yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the Marys, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised in the host city and then flown to the next one where it's kept until the next game. The Olympic torch, a major part of the Asian Games, was brought back in 1928, and it's carried with a great fanfare and publicity to the most to the host city where it's the lights burning flight on the games. It is kept burning until close of the games. The torch symbolized purity, the drive for perfection and struggle for victory. All right, that's it. So 36 and 27, 36, 27, that's the new time to beat. Um, so right now Lisbeth has taken the top up from, um, sorry, from Alexa. And yeah, so Lisbeth, you did 36, 0, 36, 27. That was crazy. And that was also really, really fast. All right, very good. So um, we only have Wendy, Wendy Paola now. Would you like to give it your chance, Wendy? Already then. So, oh, there good we night, go. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. Um, okay so you, you... Sorry. Uh, your time starts at three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The fire lines that appear on the Olympic flag, color yellow, green, blue, black, and red were introduced in 1914. The, they represent the five continents of Africa, the Americas, uh, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag 
is raised in the host city and the flow to the next one where it is kept on 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 the the, the next games the olympic third a uh, major part of the and the ancient game mm -hmm. was brought back in um, I don't remember 1928 uh, puede ser 1928 okay 1928 in his career with with great fanfire fanfire Mm -hmm. and publicity to the hot city where it's light the morning plane of the games it is keep burning until the close of the game the torch symbolizes purity they drive for perfection and there's strongly for victory all right good very nice thank you thank you so the time we reached was one minute and 29 seconds all right so one minute 29 there we have thank it thank you teacher um hay palabras que que si no sabía por ejemplo eh, donde está ah, eh, la que se escribe until mm -hmm. eh, the pronunciation is until until, until. Uh -huh. ah, Eso okay. se refiere hasta hasta ah. Until okay. the next games. Hasta los próximos <laughs> juegos. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. So, until. Um, so, yes. Uh, let's see. Ahora sí, tenemos la oportunidad de ir a retar ese tiempo. 36 segundos. Sí. Entonces, um, ¿alguien le gustaría retar el tiempo? O lo dejamos así. So, would you guys, any of you guys would like to challenge it? Or are you good to go and we go to the next reading? What do you think? Okay. Sure. If you want to give it a best shot, you can try it. All right. So, uh, Maria, your time is starts at three, two, one, go. Uy, espérese, apagó el micrófono. Oh, no, no, no hay problema, no hay problema. Empezamos de nuevo. So, three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that April the Olympic flag, color yellow, green, blue, black, and red, were introduced in the 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the America, Austria, Asia, and Europe. Europe. The flag is a race in the whole city and the, then flow the, to the next one where it's a keep until the next game. The Olympic torch, a major press on the ancient game, was brought back in 1928 and is a carry with great and publicly the to the whole city where is like the burning flag of the gate. It's a keep burning until the close of the, of the gate. The third, third symbol is the beauty, the dry for perfection and the strong for victory. All right. Si lo mejoró. Llegó a un minuto. Si, un minuto. Y le bajamos básicamente 19 segundos. Very good. Okay. Very nice. You. You're welcome. So let's see. We have... Maria with her second chance and she did um so one minute 139 muy bien a ver alguien más a quien le gustaría intentarlo una vez más tenemos quizás oportunidades para no sé um, Mariela Osmin incluso quizás Sara Oh, Alexa, would you guys like to try it again? Esta vez ya por el premio, ¿verdad? No necesariamente. Uh -huh. Ajá. Well, yes, okay. Okay, then your time starts at three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that appear of the Olympic flag, color yellow, green, blue, black, and red, 
were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the America, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised in the host city and the flag through the next one where it keeps until the next game. The liquid search, a major part of the Asian Games, was brought back in 1918 and is carried with a great fanfare and publicity to the host city where it lights give the burning flame of the game. It is kept burning onto the close of the games. The torch symbolizes purity, the drive for perfection, and the struggle for victory. Would you like to know your time? No. You don't? I don't know. Well, I worse. I think it's worse. You did 34. What? You <laughs> did 34. <laughs> yeah. So it was 34. Ahora sí, gente. Esto va a parecer carrera de caballos. No, sé. no, de hecho, no, 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 porque solo es un chance. Ya me acordé. Así que tiene un chance. Mariela, sí. Lo vamos a cerrar así porque, bueno, no, no era Mariela. Era, um, sorry, era Lisbeth. Sí, Lisbeth. Entonces, 34.92. Casi los 35. Casi, casi los 35. So, we have Alexa with 34. 92. And uh, para cerrar con esta, vamos a ver y darle chance a los demás en la otra. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Um, Lisbeth, I don't know if you would like to try it again to see if you can um, decrease the time that Alexa used it. It was. Bueno, it was no creo lograrlo, pero bueno. I mean, you did amazing the first time. I, I will not be surprised if you do 20 seconds now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah uh let's see your time starts at three two one go olympic games have many important symbols that the most people recognize the five rings that appear on the olympic flag color yellow green blue black and red were introduced in 1914 they represent the five continents of africa america australia and asia and europe in europe the flag is right in the host city and then flown to the next one with its scale until the games the Olympic Torch, a major part on the Asian Games, was brought back in 1928 and it's carried with a great fanfare and publicity to the host city where it's the light burning of the flag game. It is kept burning until the close of the game. The torch symbolizes purity, the drive for perfection, and struggle for victory. <laughs> okay, Alexa, I'm sorry, but uh, the top up goes to 28 seconds. 28 seconds. That was crazy. So, very good. Yo hice cuánto, cuánto, pero me dejé ver. Quiero ver. Yo hice 50. <laughs> Eran 49 y algo, pero bueno. Okay, 28 seconds. That's very fast. 28, 83, almost 29, but yeah. Um, so, Lisbeth, uh, 28.83. Muy bien. Ahora, eh, básicamente esta lectura entonces la vamos a dejar hasta acá, ¿sí? O sea, ya no, no habrá necesidad. Ahora, si, si fuese malo, sí les haría un juego y es que se las robo yo, pero no, tampoco, no es el chiste, ¿verdad? Porque a mí me falta un chance, pero bueno. <risa> eh, ya, yeah. we're going to go into the next one. Y es... Sí. Que, ¿sí? Solo por salir de la duda, háganlo. <risa> ok, vamos a ver, pues. A ver, so, let's see. Three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games had the most important... Oh, blah, blah. No, ya estuvo. <laughs> Perdón. No, I'm going to start, start again. Okay, so, three, two, one, go. The Olympic Games have many important symbols that most people recognize. The five rings that appear on the Olympic flag color yellow, green, blue, black, and red were introduced in 1914. They represent the five continents of Africa, the Americas, Australia, Asia, and Europe. The flag is raised on the whole city and then flown to the next world where it's kept until the next game. The Olympic torch is a major part of the ancient games, was brought back in 1928, and is carried with great fanfare and publicity to the whole city where it likes the burning flame of the games. It is kept burning until the close of the games. The torch symbolizes purity, the drive for perfection, and the struggle for victory. Aún así no pude, hice 31. Sí. It was 31 seconds, so no. It's still... Uh... Pero quedó en segundo lugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. So yeah, two, se two seconds slower than uh, Lisbeth. Saben que creo que el problema es que también estaba tratando de que no sonara tan Eminem, porque tampoco, no es el chiste. Um, pero, I mean, I'm not saying that Lisbeth mispronounced anything. She was pronouncing it all great. Actually, when I was listening to her, I was only remembering that, you know, the rap by Eminem and how quick he utters 
all the letters and all the, the words. Um, so yeah, that was pretty quick. Congratulations, good delivery. Um, so yeah, the first top up goes to Lisbeth for 28 seconds. Um, so yeah, I wasn't able to take it back. So very nice. Ahora, veamos esta segunda lectura. En serio, seguro que me siento puro padre cuando digo eso. Pero eh, en la segunda tenemos Polar Bears. Voy a hacer solamente una, una quick reading para... Eh, oh, no, 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 mejor no. Ya me fijé que solo faltan 10 minutos, así que vamos a ver. A ver, try it. Who would like to try it? Estos son otros dos dólares que están en el aire, gente. Así que, let's see. Who would like to go first? Lisbeth puede aumentar de dos a cuatro dólares. So, yeah. Who would like to try this one? Ah, están leyendo la va. <laughs> la están leyendo. No, come on. Entonces tenía que ayudar para poderla repasar, Tito. Es que si, vaya, pues me voy a robar, entonces lo voy a hacer rápido. A ver. Um, let's see. Three, two, one, go. In the spring of 2008, the polar bear was placed on the endangered species list. According to the USA's Endangered Species Act, an endangered species is an animal, plant, or any kind of other wildlife that is likely to face extinction in its natural habitat. Polar bears had already been categorized as a threatened species, which is the ESA's, as the ESA defines, as one that is likely to become endangered. In the foreseeable future, the polar bear is the first animal that has been classified as endangered due primarily to global warming. Global warming is a form of climate change caused by increasing levels of carbon dioxide and, and other greenhouse gases that become trapped in the atmosphere. So 36 seconds. That was not that quick. I made a few mistakes there. But yeah, 36 seconds. Muy bien. Ese es el tiempo a vencer en este momento. Que okay, para ustedes será nada. Eh, entonces... Tenemos nueve minutos. So, who would like to go ahead and read it um, and see who can take the next top up home? Muy bien, ¿a quién le gustaría intentarla? Y ahora ya nadie quiere. Son dos dólares, son dos dólares de recarga, paquete, recarga, lo que quieran. En el caso de Lisbeth, serían cuatro. Sí, se asegura la semana ya con internet. So, who would like to try it? Ni les creo que a esta no se le quieren medir. Vamos, come on. Okay, so am I supposed to be calling names now? Or you guys are going to do it voluntarily? Oh, well, I guess I'm going to try this. Okay, sure thing. Um, so, your time is starts at 3, 2, 1, go. In spring 2008, the polar bear was placed on the endangered species list. According to the U.S. Endangered Species Act, an endangered species is an animal, plant, or any other kind of the wildlife that is likely to face extinction. It is natural habitat. Polar bears have already been categorized as third space, which the ESA defines as one that likely to become in danger in the first of all future, the polar bear is the first animal that has been classified as in danger due primarily to global warming. Global warming is a form of climate change caused by increased levels of the carbon dioxide of the greenhouse gases that became trapped in the atmosphere. All I right. messed up. <laughs> you did not mess up. It was 44 seconds. That's not that bad. Um, because there is a lot of tricky words here. Sí, hay un montón de palabras largas, así que esta... Es un trago a lengua. Sí, esta es, es, es más difícil. O sea, en esta, si nos hace un Eminem Lisbeth, aquí sí sí que de verdad hay que nominarla a los, qué sé yo, Grammys o algo. But yeah, 44 seconds. Uh, Alexa, you did 44. 44.98, almost 45 seconds. But yeah, that was, that was good. It was good because there is a lot of tricky words in here. All right, so only six minutes left. Who would like to try it? ¿Que a quién le gustaría intentar esta lectura ahora? Solo nos quedan seis minutos, así que ahí está, ¿verdad? La batalla por la última recarga. Leyendo por una recarga. 
ya los sueños se acabaron. Ahora el dinero es el que existe de verdad. So, anyone else would like to try it? Maybe we can get to hear from Osmin or maybe Melissa or maybe Ruth or maybe Luis Eduardo. Who would like to try this reading? Vamos, necesito vender. <laughs> Come on, people. Only five minutes left. Así que significa que tenemos menos tiempo para intentarlo. Just, just go ahead and do it. All right, Ruth. Very good. I, I knew you were not going to disappoint me. All right, so uh, let's see. Your time is start at three, two, one, go. In the spring 2008, the Puerto Rico was raised. Empecemos de nuevo, empecemos de nuevo, empecemos de nuevo, empecemos de nuevo. Cuando nos equivocamos desde el principio, no hay problema. 2008, para que sea fácil, 2008, see? All right, so three, two, one, go. In the spring 2008, the polar bear was placed on the endangered species list, according to the US, USA's Endangered Species Act. An endangered species is an animal, plant, or any other kind of wildlife that is likely to face extinction in its natural habitat. Polar bears have already been categorized as a threatening species, which the ESA defines as one that is likely to become endangered in the foreseeable future. The polar bear is the first animal that has been classified and endangered due primarily to global warming. Global warming is a form of climate change caused by increased levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that become trapped in the atmosphere. Very good, you did, oh, perdón, esta vez no les estoy mostrando, si no me acuerdo. So you did 53. 53 does not bad at all very very good 53 so Ruth goes with 53 seconds wait 53.34 all right great 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 uh creo que todavía tenemos chance para dos personas más so who would like to be the next one who would like to try it come on people we still have chance Si nos quedamos leyendo solo para nosotros, se nos va a ir la recarga. Ok, maybe uh, we can hear from Osmin, Melissa, Lisbeth. Um, Luis Yo lo quiero hacer, pero siento que me voy a ver muy ambiciosa. It's ok. I mean, you can be greedy. Yeah. Sure thing. All right. So, if you want to try it, we go on the count of three. Three, two, one, go. In spring 2008, the polar bear was placed on the endangered spices list according to the USA Endangered Spices Act. An endangered spices is an animal, plant, or any kind of wildlife in the likely to extinction in its natural habitat. Polar bears have been already categorized as training species with the ESA defined as one of the likely to become endangered in the foreseeable future. The polar bear is the first animal that has been classified as endangered due primarily to global, global warming. Global warming is the form of climate change caused by increased level of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that become trapped in the atmosphere. Already, so 38 and 93. 38, 93. Ahora bien, esta vez sí vas a tener que ser castigada porque al principio parecía que estabas cocinando, decías spices, spices, y es species. Sí, después lo, hubo una corrección, hubo una parte donde sí ya se dijo species, así que será, eh, eran tres veces, so it will be one second and something, so we're going to go for 40 seconds, sí, so 40 seconds. Um, we have uh, Lisbeth, we'll go with 40 seconds. All right. Um, so yes, that's it. 40 seconds. Already, one more chance. Sí, el último minuto. Tenemos una oportunidad más. Who would like to try it again? I mean, who would like to try it um, to, to beat this bet for, for the top up? 
¿O será que lo cerramos así? Vaya. Lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Para que Lisbeth no se sienta mal, porque yo sé que a veces eso puede ser así. Uh, como son cuatro pesos los que hay en el aire, no sé si les parece que repartimos tres para Lisbeth y uno como reconocimiento para Alexa, porque se quedó en segundo lugar en ambos casos. Entonces, Lisbeth, eh, ¿sería su decisión o quiere los cuatro dólares? No, la verdad no quiero ninguno porque me sentiría muy mal de aceptarlo. Entonces, ¿tres y uno? Vale. No, ninguno. Si quieren, los puede repartir en los demás. O sea, no, no, tampoco. No, 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 no hay problema. Eso, o sea, siempre es así, siempre funciona de esa forma, siempre hay una competencia al final, así que se debe reconocer el talento. So, yes, you have earned it. So, do you take it like that? Three and one? Eh, ¿Por qué no dos y dos, entonces? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Okay, sure. If you want to split it like that, I will take it. Bueno. It's good partnership. Muy bien. Bueno, entonces, si es así, eh, me, me mandan por favor un mensaje en eh, 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 qué compañía es, su número o el número al que quieren que se le haga la recarga, porque puede ser que tengan plan, ¿verdad? Entonces, ajá, eh, compañía, número, y si quieren recarga normal o un paquete, ¿verdad? De, de internet. Entonces, um, porque sí, la vez pasada hubo un grupo que nunca me escribieron, así que veo cómo les cumplía, si nunca me dijeron nada. Entonces me, me tocó quedarme, ¿verdad? Con, con el premio. Por favor, lo hacen, no se vayan a quedar ustedes con eso. Bueno, pues por ahora, eh, básicamente todo lo que queda es agradecer, ¿verdad? Por el buen trabajo que han hecho durante este mes. Sí, sé que a veces es complejo, pero pues hemos estado ¿verdad? trabajando juntos durante un mes y ha sido eh, una muy buena experiencia. So all I have to do is basically thank you guys very much for the great effort you have done. And also thank you for, well, as per usual, your attention and participation in this evening's class. It was very fun. It was great, you know, to see you guys um, challenging one another. Lisbeth, very good work. You did great tonight. Um, same as all of you. I mean, all of you have done an amazing job But uh, yeah, as I said, you know, when someone is talented at something, it is great to recognize it. So don't feel bad about it. Um, you have done, you know, what you know how to do. So very good. And uh, for the rest of you guys, thank you guys very much for everything. I hope uh, we can meet again. It almost never happens, but hopefully it's going to happen. Um, have a really good night. Have a really good life and see you in the next one. So bye bye for now. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 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 Thank you.